Uh, I, I ignore it. I, 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 I just don't pay attention to any of it. I really, I believe in the KISS method. Keep it simple, stupid is what I believe in. Um, just buy the stock or buy deep in the money calls on, on the qualifying stocks here and write covered calls. And that's all you pay attention to. Forget the rest. Um, zero in on one thing and get good at it. And stay on top of these option chains to really be on top of what you're doing. If you're going to go full time in option writing, you can't be frazzled by 15 different things. You've got to zero in on what you do the best. And what you should be good at is an option writer. You should be a good option writer. You can make a phenomenal living being an option writer, but you've got to discipline yourself to stop with the other nonsense. Just zero in on that one area because it is treacherous if you don't. And there are days where without you knowing it, by not paying attention to the subtleties of the market, you kiss off thousands of dollars in gains. When you get to 50 to 100 to 200 to 500 contracts on two or three or four different stocks, you can't afford to be frazzled all over the place. Zero in to max out your ownership of deep in the money calls, write calls till the cows come home and get rid of the day job and become a prolific option writer and forget the secondary stuff. Goal scorers in the NHL score goals. They don't pick fights with goons. Uh, goalies stop shots. They don't take breakaways uh, up the center ice. you got to get good at one thing, and that is be an option writer and go nowhere else. Go absolutely nowhere else. Stay in your lane. Become good at it and get prolifically rich by doing it. Look at ATIP 48 unchanged again on ATIP. Go, baby. Love that. All right. Um, 